Welcome to another food review. We're doing stevia. I've heard it referred to as something else. I can't recall what other people call it. Never had it before. Um, this one's Rogers Stevia. It's 50 packets for $4.99 if I remember correctly at Superstore. Skinny Girl Organic Stevia, 40 packets for $5.99. So it's double more expensive and 10 less packets also. Okay, per packet, this is 1.8 grams, 1% 1 carbohydrates, and you can see the ingredients. It's etherol, and it goes in brackets, natural polyol or whatever, stevia leaf extract, natural flavors, and it's, yeah, 1.8 grams per packet. Uh, what is it down here? It says uh, replaces sugar one for one. 1 1.8 grams packet of Rogers Stevia equals to 3.5 grams packet of sugar. And Skinny Girl is it's all different, like zero 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 down there. The only thing there is the right here. Sugar is less than one g, and the ingredients organic dext dextrose and organic stevia. So, never had before. Let's see what it tastes like. I first heard about this with Joe Rogan. Yeah, talked about it inside the box. So, packet. Bought these so I can add to like the yogurt when you get on like that natural yogurt or whatever shit. It's got no taste to it but bitterness. I think he referred to it as when you first taste it, it's kind of, at least to him, he says kind of bitter tasting or something like that at first, or blah, blah, blah. But I'll have to wait and see. No, 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 come on. Just dump a little bit here. Okay, that's enough. That should be able to see, right? Oh, motherfucker. So yeah, it looks like sugar, but kind of like donut powder. Maybe you put like that glaze there so it's like sugar not doesn't look like it doesn't smell anything it tastes sweet but it tastes something else other than sugar and then goes back to being sweet again so yeah because all sugar offers is sweetness and so you add a sweetness to your product so yeah I like this so let's see the difference between this organic and non organic is imagine that, well and this is probably going to be sweeter because how much it is per. Oh no, this is just 1.8 grams though. Versus that's just 1 grams. But mm. I heard anyways that stevia is supposed to be sweeter for sugar versus sugar anyways or whatever. And blah, blah, blah. See, now these things here, the non-organic stevia, they're bigger crystals. You can't really see because the webcam, but I can see it. Looks like little... Not salt, because salt and sugar look pretty similar, but it's depending on what type of salt you get, of course, but generic salt, but like bigger crystals of salt. Or I guess you could say big crystals of sugar, but you shouldn't see sugar that big, if I remember correctly. I haven't, like, I get a lot, I'm sh sugar-based diet, right? But my sugar isn't, oh, I put it in a teaspoon, num, 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 num. It's already in the product, so I'm not really used to pouring, I haven't done that in, maybe when I was a kid, poured sugar on here to dump on cereal. Otherwise, I don't see it, but okay. Don't smell anything, of course. You shouldn't smell anything. Okay. This reminds me of when I was a kid. You put sugar in a spoon and you go lick it up. That text, that type of texture. It's sweet. Doesn't have a bad taste to it. I like both of them. But it's different. They're both different. The organic stevia and non-organic stevia both taste different. Huh. What should I think of that? Uh, Price-wise, if you're about an organic in this nat, then go with Skinny Girl. If you're about the money, wish that fridge didn't come on, but I got, I got it jam-packed with yogurt. I couldn't get my hand through the top to turn it off, and I didn't feel like taking all the yogurt out on the top. I've got like 17 things of yogurt. My whole mini fridge is filled up with yogurt. Mm. Anyways, value wise, you want to go with this. I mean, it's more expensive than regular sugar. If I could find a big bag of this stuff, that'd be great. I don't know if they have those anywhere, but 
I only found this at Superstore. Maybe there's a Walmart somewhere. I haven't tried Save on Foods or Safeway yet, but uh, five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. No, this is four ninety nine. The other one's five ninety nine. You get fifty packets. So money wise, go with this. The organic and non organic stevia, at least of these two brands, Skinny Girl and Rogers, both taste differently. Both have a sweet taste to it. They don't taste bad. And sugar, the only thing it offers is sweetness. Regular sugar only offers sweetness and gives you calories. And apparently it's not good for your gut fluoride. It blocks your leptin, fucks up your hormones. Artificial sugar does the same shit from my understanding, but artificial sugar at least doesn't have calories. And of the artificial sugars, my understanding, now some people are saying that stevia isn't so good for you after all, blah, 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 but it's definitely better than aspartame, which gives mice and rats cancer and shit like that, versus I never heard of stevia ever giving animals cancer, the best of my knowledge. There's all sorts of artificial sugars out there, but... My understanding, I think this is the most popular. There's like another one or two brands I heard here and there, but whatever, I got this. So when it comes to using sugars in the future, I will be using this. I like it. It's good enough for me. The question is, how much does it take? How many packets does it take for a big container of natural yogurt or organic yogurt or whatever it doesn't have the sugar in it to actually sweeten up? And dark chocolate as well. How much does it take? I don't know. I'll find out in the future. I give a thumbs up to both. The tastes are fine with me. It's all about when you add this in the product. When you actually cook it, does it make the cookies or whatever it is taste sweet? Licking it from there, it tastes sweet. Don't really care about the other stuff. You may or may not taste. Doesn't matter. It's about the sweetness. There's sweetness there. Enough rambling. Will I buy both in the future? Yes. I think I'll mix it up here and there. More times than not, I'm going to go with this. So I save a buck. But like maybe I'll buy two of these and then one skinny girl. So once in a while I'll be buying a skinny girl because it's organic and this and that and maybe organic like if they, they, they everything ever comes out where organic stevia won't fuck with your gut flora but non-organic will then I would definitely 100% go organic but I don't, for now I just like okay, artificial sugar regular sugar bad for you but I'll go with the non- I'll go with the fake sugar. At least it's less bad for you. Or at least it doesn't have fucking calories to it. So...